Hey crafters, welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and so happy to be with you today. Guess what time it is? It's paper pumpkin time. Now this is the April paper pumpkin that's called Delicate Wings. It's all about butterflies. So we are so happy today to be able to show you 10 alternatives that you can make with this kit. Now I wanna give you a heads up. If you don't use paper pumpkin, not to worry, because you can look at these designs and you can use them with anything you have. That's our key phrase, use it with anything you have. So we're going to make two cards with you today. We're gonna to make one, I'm gonna show you four alternatives, and then we're gonna make another one, and I'm gonna show you four more. So make sure you stay with us to the end. So let's head down to the crafting table. Let's get busy. Now, the first thing I wanna show you are the stamps that come with this kit. They are so pretty. We have our sentiments, we have our butterflies, and then with the kit, you get a bunch of punched out butterflies and different designs. Now, on the envelopes this time, we really didn't get envelopes that you could cut apart that they had beautiful backgrounds, but they were beige envelopes, and we actually used that as one of our backgrounds. Now, the other thing that we're most excited about is you could have bought the add-on. This is the coolest add-on. This set right here cuts out the background of the butterfly, but then you have an insert that cuts out the top that makes its wings look like they're fluttering. So cute. So the first card we're going to make is a lattice split card. Now, there will be a link to another video below this video that uh, shows you some other designs that you can use. But we're going to use this beautiful paper that they gave you with the kit. Look how pretty that is. Here's one of the punch outs that they gave us. We decided to add just a little bit of flowers to go with butterflies, right? Because butterflies go with flowers. So the two kits that we added to this, Softly Sophisticated, and you can use any plants that you want, but we just thought that plant was very pretty. And then also this little die that cut out these beautiful flowers. We got some beautiful tiny little punch out butterflies. And then this is the one that I'm talking about. You stamp the butterfly and then you use those two dies and look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Just beautiful. So the first thing you need to do is take your eight and a half by 11 cardstock and you need to go ahead and score it at four and a fourth. Now we're going to score again on the long side. When you're looking at the cardstock, so we have the short side at the very top, we are going to cut away this left rectangle right here because this part is going to be our lattice. So let's go ahead and do that. You can just stick that back into your trimmer and you can cut down, turn it over, put it at five and a half, and cut it down. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is take this top flap right here. We're going to put it back in the trimmer and we're going to cut it off at three and a fourth because we just want a small little flap right here. We're gonna keep this, and this flap just goes down, just like this. This is going over because this creates a card for us and the lattice is going to go over. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to take this piece that we cut off and we want to cut some strips. So we're going to cut half inch strips.
We're going to take this last little piece and we are simply going to cut it in half. Okay, so let's bring in our bone folder and give this a really good crease. The next thing you need to do is grab you some painter's tape. And we, and we use painter's tape because it comes off the cardstock very easily. So we need it about that long. Just going to tear it. And now go ahead, if you bought the big, thick painter's tape, and just cut it down the middle. Now you can tear it or you can cut it on your trimmer. I'm just going to tear it. And I'm going to just use my ruler, so let's do that. Let's just put our ruler We're going to take our sticky side up and we're going to put it right here on the back side of the flap and just lay it down, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna take the other side and do the same thing. We want the sticky side on the top. That's going to be used as a guide for our lattice. Now the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and take this strip and put it at the very bottom and that will help you space out your lattice. So just line it up just like that and there we have it. And now we can space our lattice. Okay, now we're going to take these two strips and we are going to lay them over just like this. Now you'll need to cut maybe a little bit off at the bottom and the way you attach that is go ahead and get some glue dots and just add it right here to your lattice strips. Now we can lift this up and just take off our tape. Now go ahead and cut this part off. And now we need to decorate it. So we are going to put this right on the inside panel, just like this, so that it shows through. Now when you open it up, you have plenty of room to write, and they will not see what you've written because it's underneath this panel right here. But now we're just going to decorate and we have some beautiful flowers just to add. And we have a beautiful butterfly to add there. I'm going to put it on top of that one just like that. And now we can stamp a message on the inside using our Knight of Navy. And here is our first card. We added our butterflies, added a few little leaves and plants and flowers. You could also emboss this area to give it more dimension. You open it up and you can't see your writing because here's the card. How cute is that? The next card I want to show you that we created using the kit, look at this. Look how pretty this is. We stamped our butterflies, we embossed, Here's some of the paper. We went ahead and we embossed over this paper. And this is a peekaboo window. You open it up and it has another card in it. Look at that. Such a pretty design. Here is a flap card. Look at that. Look at that beautiful butterfly. We added it to the flap. We embossed this little bar right here. 
you open it up, you've stamped your message, and here you go. There is a video link below to show you how to make this one. And then of course, we have this design that we just love. Now on this one, we created our background just using the stamps. Look at that. Look at those beautiful colors. We also use the new Stamping Up in colors to create this background. So pretty. We stamped our little butterfly. We used those dies to cut out those wings. Look how cute that is. And this stands up perfectly on your desk as a keepsake. We created this card. What do you think? We embossed this. Now we took this, thank you so much, from another stamp set. Look how pretty that is. We embossed our gold strips here. We used their paper that they gave us from the kit. There's that beautiful butterfly again with the wings. And you open it up. And look at that. This is truly an elegant card that could be used for, my goodness, an anniversary, a wedding. Such a pretty card. So here is group one. Take a moment and let us know which is your favorite in group one. Okay, group two, let's make our buckle card. Now to make a buckle card, you have lots of parts. There will be a video link to show you exactly how to cut all these pieces. But, this goes on the top of it. We use the paper that they gave us. Look at that. Love this paper. So let's go ahead and get that laid down first. Now, what's interesting about a buckle card is you need to cut out the aperture right here. We are using classic label. This is a stamping a punch that retired long ago, but we never got rid of it because we love it, particularly for our buckle cards. But if you don't have this punch, not to worry. You can use a small rectangle that will accomplish the same thing. We are going to put this right in, and I'm turning it upside down because I want to make sure I get it all lined up just right. and punch and it makes it in exactly the right place now we're going to open up our card that we cut this is going on the inside right here but before we put that down we need to attach our little flap this is the buckle so let's go ahead and just Put a little bit of glue and get that right on that piece of cardstock, centered right in the middle. Okay, so there we have it. Now you can put it down. Now look at this. We used the little strip that we had left over from this beautiful paper. Look at that, that gold. And we're just going to add that right here. Now we're going to add this strip on the front of our flap. Look at that, we embossed it. This is a quick and easy design to use with any stamp set that you have, but it is so pretty. Now you just fold this over and it goes right in just like that. But we're not finished because we want to decorate this area here. But to decorate it, go ahead and put your buckle in the opening because you want to make sure that this goes right over the top and doesn't interfere with you putting it right there. 
So we've just cut out a circle and we are going to lay it down right here. Now we cut out another circle and we're just going to add those on some dimensionals just to give it some added height. We have one of those beautiful stamped butterflies and we have our thinking of you that we're going to put right there. We're going to lift it up on dimensionals as well. Now we're just going to add a few gems just to sparkle it up a little bit. And look at this. Look at how pretty this is. Now to slip it out, just put your hand underneath it. Slip it out. Open it up. You have plenty of room to write your message. And then just curve this a little bit when you go to put it back in. And there you have your buckle card. Now, let me show you our second group of cards. Look at this one. This diagonal piece of cardstock came with the kit. This die came with that add-on. Look how beautiful that is. And then we once again use the dies to cut out the wings so they look like they're fluttering. We stamp this one. We emboss this beautiful, pretty peacock paper. You open it up. We double matted it just to make it a little stronger. Added a butterfly and a beautiful stamp. Next, we made a bookmark card. Look at this. You take this off, you have your bookmark. How pretty is that? You open it up and you have a note card. Now, this one does have a link below this, so you can go right to the video to see how to make it. Here we have another beautiful card. We added those little butterflies that they gave us as a punch out. We used our postage dies to cut that out added some beautiful embossing folder designs to this cardstock right here, stamped our message, and then double matted it on the inside. This is also a stamp that you get with this kit. And finally, here is a card that we created. Now we cut this out in gold paper using that die and look at that. So pretty. We added some gems. We cut out just a little black body for his little body. And then we added some black gems on both sides. We added some of those beautiful plants that we showed you earlier. Cut this out. And to make this sturdier, because this is just a frame, we used a piece of foam behind it and then covered it with that Lost Lagoon. So you open it up and there you have it. Now we do not have a video for this one, but we will be making one. And this stands up perfectly like that so you can see. So here is group two. Take a moment, leave a comment. Which is your favorite in group two? Well, thank you so much for spending your time with me. We hope that you enjoyed these paper pumpkin alternatives. And what makes them so great is that you can use them with anything you have. So check out these designs. We hope you liked them. Maudie and I want to wish you a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.